Hi guys, good evening. Hi Katie, hi Brenda, hi Luis, hi Antonio, hi Benjamin. Good evening, how are you guys? Hi. Hi. I'm fine, and you? Super, how are you? Luis. Super, thank you for asking. How was your day? Tell me. What did you guys do? Oh, okay. Um, I go out in I the went, morning. Okay, I went out. I went out, sorry, sorry, I went out in the morning. Mm -hmm. At the morning, um, <clears throat> only that. Okay. Currently, I don't work. Ah, okay. Where were you working or what do you do for a living? Uh, I, I work in, uh, uh, like you, I am teacher too. Ah, you're a teacher. Nice. What, yeah, yeah. what subjects do you teach? Uh, I am graphic designer and um, uh, I... I'm teacher about that, oh, okay. everything about about uh, graphic design programs or something like that. Nice, interesting. That's very good. That's very good. Okay, nice. Thank you for sharing, Luis. Katie, what about you? How was your day? Uh, I was here in dinner and I... I am happy right now. <laughs> okay. Are Only you working? That. Are you working? Are you on vacation? Are you on? Okay. Well, don't don't worry. Um, Antonio, good evening. Benjamin, Alexandra, Joanna, and Samuel. Tell me, how was your day? Tell me a little bit about your day. What do you guys do? Tell me. Because I, I work in home. Ah, you work at home. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Brenda or Alexandra? What do you guys do? My day was pretty, pretty good. Um, I was working. I work at TP. It's a, it is a call center. But okay. You know, it was a little bit busy today. Okay, are you in customer service or do you have another profession in that call center? Do you work in English or in Spanish? No, it's in English, but yeah. you know, every time I need to improve a lot, as much as I can. Okay, super, nice, nice, okay. Very good, Emmanuel, good evening. How was your day? Uh, a little busy, uh, teacher. I was busy today. Okay, tell me a little bit about what you guys do so I get to know you. Uh -huh. What do you do? Where do you work? I was watching movies on English mm -hmm. and I was helping, I don't know how to say, Oficio del, Oficio del Hogar. Those are called house chores. I'm going to write on the group, house chores. And um, if you go out, like Luis told me, to do mandaditos, those are called errands. So when you go out, you you run errands. By the way, I forget, run errands. Run errands. Hacer okay. mandaditos. And, uh, and when, you're, you're, when you're working at home and you have to do things around the house, those are called house chores. House chores. Chores. Mm -hmm. With chores like uh, Leo? Um, chores. I wrote it on the group, so maybe you could see it here on the chat. House chores, chores. and run errands. Yes. Okay. Let me share it with you also. That was my, my whole day. Okay. Okay, super. Thank you. So you say run errands like this, okay? So that's to run errands, to go out, to buy something after school. She runs errands for his father, for example. You run errands, hacer mandaditos, or you house chores. Mm -hmm. uh, all the, the activities that you have to do, sweeping, vacuuming, uh, washing the dishes, feeding the pets, or anything you have to do around the house, that's called household chores or just house chores. Just the word chores are the actions that you have to do. So it's understood when you say chores. I have a lot of chores to do. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. House tours. Okay. House tours. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you had a wonderful day. Okay. I know busy day for a lot of us always, right? From Mondays to Fridays, it's busy, especially if we're home, home office, or we're working at home, we always have a lot of things to do. Um, so today, yesterday we were talking about, do you remember what we were talking about? I forgot, I think something with races, right? I don't remember, do you guys remember? What were we talking about yesterday? What was our topic yesterday? Phrasal verbs. Okay, thank you, phrasal verbs, okay. Okay. And what are phrasal verbs? Do you guys remember? Mm -hmm. What are phrasal verbs? Do you guys remember? Stop. Turn down. Get up. Turn off. Turn on. Very good. Okay. So are phrases that are are actually two words, a verb and an adjective, I'm sorry, a verb and an adverb or a verb plus a preposition, right? Yeah? So yeah. to get separately means something different, but together they mean something very specific. And we have many of them, right? And for you to learn them, you just have to grab them by categories or by groups and go step by step for you to actually get to learn them all. And we were, we were, I shared a couple of lists with the exercise that we did yesterday from the platform regarding with phrasal verbs with clean, with put, right? Also with take, with let, and only those, right? I think I shared it. I shared a couple more, just don't remember. Oh, and also pick and turn. Mm -hmm. um, now, pronunciation is very important, right guys? whenever you say them. So you don't have to say them separately, but you have to do like this little cantadito. It's a lullaby whenever you speak in English, okay? So there is a short video. I hope you have it opened. Um, you have opened your platform. If you do, do you all have, okay. So there's this very short video. It's a 1.6. It's pronunciation stress into, it's very short. It's like, less than a minute, I think. Okay, so let's pay attention because I want us to do the practice. That way you start getting that little lullaby whenever saying the phrases, okay? For you not to speak like that with a lot of pauses, but you, for you to run your words, okay? <coughs> run your words to have the lullaby. Ese cantadito in English. Remember, English is very fresa. It's very sassy. So we have to sometimes exaggerate the sounds for them to come out. Let's pay attention to the video and then we're gonna practice a little bit. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Were you able to listen to the pronunciation? Yes. Okay. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, so how would you say this uh, two part verbs? How would you call it? Who wants to help me with the first one? Up. Try to do the first one. Up. This one. I'm going to do it one by one and then we're going to do the lullaby, okay? For you to have an idea how the exercise goes. So the first word is pick up our, like our, our things. Mm -hmm. Things. The TH sound, and I want to get myself closer to the camera that way you see it. The TH sound, you have to stick the tongue out and then inside, from the outside to the inside, like things. Okay, like three, three, think. If you don't stick your tongue out, it's gonna sound like tree. See, tree, three, tree, three. Three. Si no sacan la lengua, no sale el sonido. Three, 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 very good. Things, things. 
Things. Things. Things. Excellent. So now you know, we have two sounds for TH. And B, like this, that, those. So there's two sounds, let, with the D and with the three, think, 30, 35, 33. The more you stick your tongue out, the more the sound will come, okay? So in this phrase, the oh. correct pronunciation would be, pick up our things. Pick up our things. Try it. Pick up all of you things on your own. Do it as an exercise. Pick up our things. If you pick see our things, pick up our things. If you see the pronunciation pick has a lot to do, so you don't have to pick up your <coughs> our things. You have to run your words through, and the more you practice, the faster it's going to come. The idea, guys, is for you to speak more. Fluent and fluent has to do with speed, not for you to speak like with a lot of pauses, but for you to run your words. Okay, ese es el cantadito. Pick up our things. Let's say it, everybody. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Cut it out. Cut it up. A look que ayuda mucho and helps you a lot, will help you a lot. It's to dramatize it. Si lo dramatiza, if you dramatize it, the emotion comes out. Cut it out. And you can even do the same. I'm not looking at you, but you can do it. Cut it out. Cut Try it, it out. out. Cut, cut it out. out. So it's cut not it cut. Out. It's not cut. If you notice that O becomes O, oh, so it's cut it cut out. It up. Very cut good. It cut. cut it out. So remember, that's a golden out. rule. Cut it out. Cut, cut it out. out. So it means cut it out means Right? Finish. Yeah. Cut it out, guys. No, no, no. Cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it means. Cut it out. Yes. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Very good. Like, you, this is drop. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. It literally, this in, in Spanish is como aventame por ahí. Aventame. So dame un aventón. Ajá. Like, in, when you're driving, Aventame. Oh, okay. aventar por ahí? So in, in English, that's the translation. I'm sorry. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me so off. See, it's Drop a phrasal. Off. It's a phrasal. Drop me off. The next one. Turn, Turn the radio up. 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 Put the phone down. Put the, Put the phone, phone down. down. It's like also, if you notice when you're when you're doing it down, Okay, it's because you want that person to, yeah, finish speaking, right? So put the phone down. Phone down. Put the phone down. Especially if you, especially, especially if you have a, you know, kids at home that are, yes. right? You're like, hey, put your phone down. Hey, socialize, socialize. <laughs> <laughs> so you tell them, right? Put your phone down, like cut it off. Yeah, enough, right? Enough okay. Minecraft or YouTubers, right? So you're like, cut, it, cut your phone <laughs> off. Okay. So see, see how it changes? So now we learn that the TH, you have to stick your tongue up. Okay, the O, usually in Spanish, in English, I'm sorry, it's O, so it's cut. So you don't say umbrella, for example, you say umbrella. 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 So that O becomes more like an O. Okay, and then turn, instead of turn, it's turn. 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 Turn, very good. And then, Put a phone, put a phone. Like you see, you're running. You're not put the phone. No, put a, put a, put a. So the T, the T in English, guys, becomes an R. Okay? The T in English becomes like an R sound. So it's put a phone down, put a phone down. Okay? Put a phone down. Okay, so going back to the exercise we were doing yesterday, okay? The exercise we were doing yesterday with the, um, with the phrasal verbs. Can you see my screen? Can you see my presentation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, super. Okay, so going back to the phrasal verbs. Okay, I have here like a couple of them run across. Okay, so I want you to practice on your own. So I want you to mute yourself. Okay, mute yourself, all of you. I'm going to do it and I want you to remedarme. I want you to mock at me. Okay, so you're going to remedarme. You're going to be looking at me or listening to me but I want you to repeat it on your own there, okay? So for example, the first one, run across. Run across. Say it to yourself, run practice. Uh -huh. But mute yourself. Across. I want you to mute yourself so you can listen to okay. yourself. 
So you can listen to you. I want you to listen to yourself. Run across, okay? Pick up, pick up. Find out, find out. Look into, look into. Look out for, look out for. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Get away with. Get a. You see, the T becomes an R. Get away with. It's this one. Get away with. I'm highlighting it with my, my mouse. Get away with. So follow my mouse. Walk out on. Walk out on. Walk out. Walk out. Listen. Walk out. Not walk out on. Walk out on. Take after, take after. Look down on, look down on. Throw away, practice the TH. Throw away, throw away. Keep up with, keep up with, keep up with. Show off, show off, show off. Look forward to, look forward to, look forward to. Look out for, look out for. Make sure of, make sure of, make sure of. So as you can see, English is like that, right? So I want you to also practice, okay, the following ones. Okay, I want you to practice the sentences. I'm going to pick like a couple, but I want you to read them, okay? You to read them in silence, okay? The quarterback picked apart, the quarterback picked apart the secondary defense, defense in the first half. The quarterback picked apart the secondary defense in the first half. You see? Lo voy diciendo un poquito más rápido for you to start getting the hang of it. First slow, and then I'm going to try to go a little bit faster and faster for you to practice. The quarterback picked apart the secondary defense in the first half. The quarterback picked apart the secondary defense in the first half. Okay? I'm going to pick another one. Let's pick up. Let's pick up. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. I'm gonna do two examples with turn. Turn off the machine and unplug it when you leave. Turn off the machine, machine, not machine, machine, like Turn off the machine and unplug it, remember it's not unplug it, it's on with, with O. Unplug it when you leave. Turn off the machine and unplug it when you leave. Turn around. Turn around once or twice so I can see your new dress. Turn around once or twice so I can see your new dress. Clean. We better clean out the attic this week. We better clean out the attic this week. We better clean out the attic this week. I clean myself up before breakfast. I wouldn't say the breakfast. I think there's a mistake here. It's just breakfast. I clean myself out up before breakfast. I clean myself up before breakfast. Let's go away with put. Put. We don't have sentences with put here. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, let's just practice the phrases. Put across. Put aside. Put away. Put back. Put by. Put down. Remember, it's not down. 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 Put down. Put forward. Put in. You see? Put in. Not put in, but put in. Like purina without the a, uh, put in, put off, put on, put out, and put up. 
let's go with our last list. I'm gonna take two here. It didn't take in much of the teacher said. I'm sorry, I didn't take in much of the teachers of what the teacher said. It should have been here. There's a mistake too. I didn't take in much of the teacher said of what the teacher said. I'm not very good at basketball. I only took it up recently. I'm not very good at basketball. I only took it up recently. Recently. And let's practice with let. The rain shows no sign of letting go, letting up. The rain shows no sign of letting up. The rain shows no sign of letting up. Let in. He opened the window to let in the air. He opened the window to let in the air. Okay? Okay, guys, so this were a couple of practices, okay, with the exercises that we were doing yesterday, just to recap, and for you to see that uh, pronunciation is very important, right? So I want you to go ahead and practice yourself, okay, with the lists that I sent you. Go ahead and practice to read the sentences. It will help you with pronunciation too. And you can even type the sentences. On, the only way I use the translator, and I want to share with all of you, is that I write down, for example, just to give you an example, meaning. I write down the word, I write down meaning, or I just write down like this. And what I do, the only way I use translator with Google is with this, with the little speaker. That way I sure. can listen to the pronunciation sure. of the word. Okay, so you could do the same. You can go to translator. Okay, and just write, type your sentence and just listen to the speaker, not the translation of it. Type your sentence in English and listen to the pronunciation. That will help you. It's a very good exercise for practicing pronunciation too. That's a tip, okay? Okay? So what we're gonna do right now is, this is our following exercise. So yesterday we were talking about the platform. Do you guys have questions about the platform right now? No questions? No? No. Okay, super. No. So today, our topic for today, aside from the two-part verbs, is that we're gonna start taking a look at modals. Can you help me read what modals are? Do you know what modals are? Do you guys know? What are modals? Sure. Mm -hmm. What is a modal? What are modal verbs? What do you think they are? You are Googling it. Don't Google it. <laughs> Okay, what are modals? Start saying my notebook. Because <laughs> silence, los delata. <laughs> and typing. Uh -huh, you're like, tch, 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 tch. I can listen to you. Okay, so what is a modal auxiliary verb? It's a helping verb. Okay, a modal verb is this. This is like a little cardboard that I found that I really liked, super old school, before PowerPoint. This is was what we do, did as teachers. So as you can see here, you have different modal auxiliary verbs. We have can, could, will, would, may, might, must, shall, and should. Okay, we're gonna go step by step, don't worry. Now, it tells us here that since it's a verb, it's an action. An action that maybe indicates possibility, like might, tal vez, right? Or maybe a strong possibility, like may, or maybe an obligation, like must, okay? So those are some examples of modal auxiliaries. But then we also have, wait, we also have some others, models that can be used in different ways. For example, we have here can, that can is an ability. I can cook, I can, I can do crafts or origami, okay, for example. Um, it's an ability or is to ask or grant permission, okay? Can I can I go to the can I go to the gym with you? Okay, or can I go to the bathroom, please? You know, like the typical ones. Okay, and then we have also would, which is the past tense of will. Okay, would is the past tense of will. Will is to the future, by the way. Will is to the future, and it can also be a repetitive action, 
in the past, okay? It could be a repetitive action in the past. And for example, when my cousins lived in Colorado, we would visit them every winter. So it's something that you would say, I would, I would do this if, if there's an action uh -huh, continuously. Very good. So you can use it that way. And here we have an, another brief explanation. I'm sorry, it's very small, but then there was a lot of information. I had to put it here on the slide. I hope everybody can see. I'm going to send you this image, so don't worry, okay? You don't have to copy them. Okay. Yes, I will send you all the material. See. All the material, I will send it to you, okay? <laughs> but I tried to put them separately, but they didn't work. I don't know. So I, I placed it in one slide. But for example, we were saying that if can is ability, what is the negative of, of can? We have positive can. What's the negative? Cannot. Cannot. Mm -hmm. Can't. Mm -hmm. Can't. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tell me things that you can't do, guys. In your I house. Can't sing. Or, uh -huh, I can't sing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, karaoke. I, Everybody. I can't <laughs> drive. I can't drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't swim. I can't swim. Okay. Any other one? Sorry, in negative. I can't. I have one. I cannot or I can't iron. It's very difficult. There's always I I always make a mistake when I'm ironing. I can't iron perfectly. I can, I but I can't that. I can't iron perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So that is can ability, okay? Whether you can do it or you can't do it. Now, suggestions, we can use could, which is the way, a way of saying can't, but for suggestion, we will use could. Give me a suggestion using could for a kids, okay? So I have two kids. I want you to give me suggestions, okay? You're gonna be right now giving me suggestions. So I have two kids, okay, two kids here. And what do I do with them? Give me suggestions. What do, what do I do with them now that we are on quarantine and they're home 24 seven? You could, you could do, uh, <laughs> you could do exercise. Uh huh. Okay. In like after. YMCA. Like, well, yeah. Okay. I could do exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you. You can draw. You could. You could suggest. You could draw. Uh -huh. You could draw with them, con ellos, with them. Okay. I could draw with them. Uh huh. You could tie them so they don't bother. <laughs> it is like. <actually. laughs> I could tie them. Okay, like. How to keep them? <laughs> <you. laughs> to keep them quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. What else? You who make a video? I could give them cookies. He came, he, my son just came to give me a cookie. I wanted to show you. So I could give them cookies because they like cookies. Uh -huh. You could do homework with them. Very good. I could do homework with them. Okay, thank you. Very good. Tell me something that, um, let me see. Let's, let's go over another one. Okay, here we have suggest with could. Now, shall, let me explain shall before we go, we do another exercise. Shall is very, very formal, not very used because it's super formal on the ranking, okay? It's to ask permission, okay? Or also to ask somebody to do something for you. Shall we go to the supermarket together, for example, okay? But it's super formal. You're not going to listen to it a lot, so don't pay attention to it. Okay, may, may is very common, it's very formal too, okay? Now, try to give me a question on how you would use may, please. How would you make may? May I come in? May I come in, very good, may I come in? Mm -hmm. May I help you? May I help you, thank you, excellent. Um. Mm -hmm. What about wood? What is wood? If wood is also a request, can you give me examples with wood, please? Okay. 
he would play piano better? I'm sorry? <clears throat> he would play piano better? Um, but in questions. With questions. Ah, sorry. In questions. So would, would you ask this you... Would you please bring me water? Very good. Would you please bring me a glass of water or water? Mm -hmm. Thank you. A glass of uh, water or a glass with water? <laughs> uh -huh. with, with. Very good. And we always say a glass of water. So it's a glass with water. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Now, what would you do if you can travel to Germany? What would you do if you could travel to Germany? Oh, visit many tourist places. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> many places. Excellent. Now, we also have on the list, okay, let's go here down to necessity. We must, tell me examples of things that we must buy, we must do, we must sell, we must make. Examples with, mu with must. Relating necessity. We must stay at home. During quarantine, for example, we must, it's a necessity. Mm -hmm. You must save money. You must? Save money. Very good, thank save you. Money. you. Ah, very good. You must save money during quarantine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We must learn English. We must learn English. It's very important. Thank you. Very important. <laughs> thank you. Now, one is necessity, but then we also have must for obligation. When do you know if it's an obligation and when do you know if it's a necessity? For example, let's take the example of we must study English. Is that a necessity or is that an obligation? Hmm. Necessity. 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 It could be both. Yeah. Why? Because if you're if your boss tells you you have three months to learn English, or if not, <laughs> hospitalization. <laughs> yes. So if, if it's an obligation, like, yeah, I have to learn English. So if it's necessary, uh -huh, so it could be an, a necessity, but it can also be an obligation because if not, you're going to lose your job. For example, it all depends on the context, right? Right. Mm hmm. Okay, now advices. If we're giving somebody an advice, we use also should and must. You can also use must to give advice, but you have to be careful on how you say it. For example, we can give advice to tell somebody you must, you look sick, you must go to the doctor, right? But you're not saying you must go to the doctor. It sounds like an obligation. It all depends on how we say it on the tone, okay, or on the approach. Mm -hmm. Okay, so having said this, just give me a second. Let me just escape from here. Okay, having said this, I want us to go back to the platform really quick. And okay. I want us to watch this, is this very short video so we can do the exercise and then I have another exercise plan. Let's pay attention, please to the exercise in the video. This is how it is formed. Would you request using model verbs? Hi, we're about to make requests using model verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal, a simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? I want to stop there, and I, I forgot to mention. What do you think is the difference between using can, could, would, and also would you mind? What do you think is the difference? Look at the examples. What do you think, is there a difference why they have them on this side and not with this ones on this side? Would you mind? There's like two reasons. One is structure, because would you mind, we'll always go with the verb in ing, would you mind turning, would you mind sweeping, would you mind 
reading? Would you mind taking? Would you mind? So it's would you mind plus a verb in ing. Okay. Presente continuo. Now, the other ones are different. Why? Can you turn? Could you close? Would you take? Okay. So you're using the model plus a verb, but in the present. And then would you mind goes along with the verb, but with ing. So that's one of the differences. And the other difference is that it's, it's like if you're asking that person with a little bit of fear, like, because you don't know if you're going to get a yes or no answer, would you mind? Polite. You know? and polite. It sounds polite, but in a way it sounds a little bit insecure because it's like if you were scared of asking them, Será que me, me da un vino? like if you were, you know, scared, uh, con, con, como con pena. So that's the difference between one and another, okay? So there's like a little difference there. Would you mind, plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request. So you could say, could you please do me a favor? Or could you make me a flavor, please? So if you put it in the middle, if you put that please in the middle whenever asking somebody for something, then that means that it has a little bit more sense of urgency, okay? And you're making a stronger emphasis, but it has a sense of urgency. You're like, please, please, I need you to do me a favor, okay? So it's correct to do it at, in the middle or at the end, whenever asking. With would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression, would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, so this is a little bit of the explanation regarding um, uh, modal verbs, okay? So what I'm gonna do with the knowledge check really quick so you can do it, it's just um, five, exercises no, six exercises so I'm gonna pair you up with somebody okay that way you can practice do the exercise and then we're gonna come back so we can do one of our worksheets okay like the one we did yesterday so we can do it together just to wrap up the class okay so let me go ahead and and pair you up so remember the activity is 1.9 okay so let's work on that really quick So I'm going to pair you up. Okay, so you will receive an invitation there, so click on accept, okay?
Okay, Alexandra, are you working with your partner? Uh, no, yes. Okay. I am Asus, searching the exercise. Asus. I cannot see your name, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Hello? I, I can't think listen. that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, let me, if he's not able to answer back or she's not able to answer back, um, I can change you to work with somebody else, okay? Okay. Let me see. I'm going to change you to break room floor. Okay, there you go. Alexandra, Antonio, are you there? Yes. Okay, yes. super. So you can work together now. Yep. Okay. Okay, um, Alexandra. Um, are you there? I cannot listen to you. Can you speak maybe the volume a little bit up? I can listen to you, but very far away. I'm going to move you to another group so you can work with them, but okay, try to tell them that your speaker is having, you're having problems with, with the sound a little bit, okay? But you can, so you can do the exercise. It's your sound. The sound in your in your cell phone or computer, I cannot. We cannot listen to you. It's, I have to like really pay attention at the end, super far away. Okay, don't worry. Let me let me move you to a group so you can work with somebody. Okay. Just give me one minute so that way you can work with somebody. Oh my, oh my God. God. I'm sorry, I do it right away. I do it right away, yes. Can be. And number six. Would you mind not talking so loudly? I think it's sorry, number one. We talk. Sorry, we'll talk more quietly. It's the only. It's number one. Yes. Yes, but I... No, yes. I think... Six. Yes, number. I have a new number. Can you help me to move to my new house? Number five. I'm really sorry, but I'm with this. You said a blind person. Mm -hmm. And in la, number five, and number five. Could you move your phone? Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. We are good. Okay. Yes, I think so. I um, in the afternoon I I just read the number one and what <laughs> so <laughs> I stop uh, uh, I was a stop or algo así. Me podría a mudarme a mi nueva casa. Sí. ¿Puedes ayudarme a moverme a mi nueva casa? I arrive. Um, Number four. Uh, would you mind not sitting here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, would you mind not sitting here? Would you mind? No te importa si me siento aquí. 
Yeah. ¿O te importaría no sentarte Sorry, aquí? Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. ¿no te importaría si me siento aquí? Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Lo siento, pero este asiento ya está tomado, ya está ocupado. No me di cuenta que este asiento estaba tomado. Yeah. Ajá, ah, no me di cuenta que este asiento estaba uh, ajá, ocupado. Yeah. Ah, ¿te importa? No sé. Ah, ¿te importaría no sentarte aquí? Ajá. ¿Te importaría no sentarte aquí? Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lo siento, no me di cuenta. esa construcción. Estaba tomado. Could you move your car from my space? Could you move your car? I, I'm sorry, my... I'll do it right away. What? I'm sorry, I do it. Maybe it can be that. I think it is. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I do it. Uh -huh. Okay. Would you mind not talking so loudly? We're we're sorry. We'll talk more quickly. Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah. You got to put some bit. And submit. Yeah. Ah. We have one bad, two, two. Are you guys ready? Did you get 10? Yeah. Super. Okay, <laughs> let's go over the answers for those of you who have not finished yet. So the first okay. one, could you lend me $20? Are you kidding? I don't have any kidding? cash. I don't have any cash. Okay, very good. Number two, can you get me a sandwich? I'm really sure, sorry, no but I'm busy. Hi. Number three, can you help me move to my new house? By the way, move is mudarse. Okay, move to my new house. And sure, the answer no would be, problem. sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. Okay, number four, would you mind not sitting here? Okay, sorry. sorry. I didn't realize the seat was taken. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. it's taken. Next one. Could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. Like your neighbors, right? We're neighbors when we ask them. Like, could you see? Yeah. All Would you time. mind? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Would you mind not talking so loudly? Sorry. We're sorry. We will more talk quietly. more quietly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yay. Do you have it correct? Yes? Okay, super. Very good. Um, now, let me go back to that wonderful page that we, were, we saw yesterday, which is the modal verbs of that. So we have this little quiz. Ton, 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 ton. But I don't want to, I, I don't want to pick the worksheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you with your partner pick one of the worksheets. So I'm going to send you the link through here. I'm going to pair you up again and you pick the worksheet that you want to do for models, okay? <clears throat> Try to pick out an uh, easy one, not a very long one. Try to pick an easy one because time's running up, okay? So if we don't finish, then you can always, and again, remember, this is just like extra exercise for you to practice more than a platform, okay? The idea is for you to complete the platform during the, this four weeks, okay? So, but this is more practice in case you want to practice more a specific topic, <clears throat> okay? So let me go ahead and pair you up again, and I'll send you the link right away.
talk? I don't know. I sent you guys the I sent you guys the link through WhatsApp and also through here. Okay, that way you can, oh, okay. you can join and do one a simple one so you can practice together. Pick in, one in, in in WhatsApp. This this is the. It's a link here in Zoom in the Zoom chat and also through WhatsApp. Oh, with okay. Moreover, uh, that way you can practice. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I I can't see the the the, the chat. Okay. Okay. Ah, but I sent it to, to WhatsApp too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I see right. Uh, I didn't page the no font. I sent page it to no WhatsApp. Font. Okay. Let me see. The link. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I got it. Page not found. You cannot open the page? No. Uh, no set me page the page not found. Okay. Same as I Maybe. Can. Let me, I'll type it again. I think it's without the plus sign. Maybe the, maybe the link fall down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me resend it again. Okay. There you go. I send it on WhatsApp. Okay, maybe. Let me see. And I'm gonna send it here too. Okay, right. I can. I can. I see think it right it's now. a plus. It's just a plus sign that you have to take away. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Uh, you mustn't drive fast. Yes. Because there, 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 there's a speed limit right there. Um, you must turn right. Right. Yep. Okay. You can park. You can park here. here. Yes. I don't know this sign. <laughs> it says you mustn't enter here. You must keep that way. No. You mustn't. I you mustn't enter here. You mustn't. Ah, okay. Uh, this one is, uh, you mustn't, mustn't turn, back. turn back. Okay, yep. yes. You mustn't, cy well, cy cyclists <laughs> mustn't enter. enter. Okay, yes. yes. This is a, like a kind of alert sign, so you must go, you must slow down. Ah, okay. I, I, I never see this sign. <laughs> yeah, because... Uh, a lot of them we, we don't use them here ah okay yeah uh pedestrians must enter enter yes you must mustn't turn left yes you mustn't you, park here no 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 you mustn't park here you mustn't yeah ah you mustn't uh, ah. cyclists Please. can enter can enter to I possibility, think possibility. More of advice, show. Yeah, and the tree is a uh, where January to a school is a uh, may she may she may she very petty. Can be can be ill. Can be, can Ill. be Ill. I'm sorry. I just mm. see her. Or has to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's going to be a can be. Has to. So, <laughs> can be. But can be Ill. I just see her. The tipo de estar enferma. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's can or. Mm. Can be because yeah can has be, or, ha, or has or has to has to be, be because because the the yeah 
You must. You must. Be exercise on time. You, you mustn't bully you your classmates. Yeah. You mustn't. You mustn't forget your home. Yeah. You mustn't shut up. Teacher, Hi guys, so welcome back. Um, that was just a little exercise, like no. an extra exercise for you to actually practice. You can do it, um, it's not necessary to do it for homework, but then I'm giving you just resources for you to continue practicing aside, right? Just, but importantly is for you to work on the platform, remember to complete it and comply with it, okay? So see you tomorrow, time flies, and, and I have another class at nine. So see okay. you tomorrow, same time. Okay. okay, good night, teacher. Good Thank night. you. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye.